have you asked yourself why you are still not so good in hacking even if you already have a lot of trainings certifications or some work experience already why well you are not alone In this video series, I'm gonna talk about the five key lessons that I've learned in my past 10 years of hacking journey, and also common mistakes that most of the hackers are doing again and again and again nowadays. Stay tuned so you can avoid these pit holes and level up your hacking skills. Lesson one, ditch basics fast. Wait, wait, wait. I know that a lot of you are asking right now, Alexis, what the heck? I mean, basics are the foundations of hacking. It's very important. Well, yes, of course, of course, it is very important. However, a lot of hackers, especially the beginners, are trapped in the basic for too long. So I remember these students who has a lot of uh, basic penetration testing certifications from different providers. And he asked me, I have a lot of certifications already in hacking. However, I cannot still find unique vulnerabilities and cannot still stand out within my field. He asked me why. Today, we are bombarded with a lot of certification. A lot of them trap hackers, especially the beginners which delays specialization. And if there is no specialization, it will be hard for them to find or discover unique vulnerabilities or to stand out in the very saturated world of hacking. Here's the strategy. Learn just enough basics and then dig deeper in your chosen specialization. You don't need a very thick book regarding that specialization or regarding the basics. You don't need a, a college degree or for four years to go within the specialization or have a certification course from top to bottom. You don't really need it that much because whenever you're stuck in digging deeper, you just need to search the basics that you just need on that specific situation and get back on digging deeper as fast as you can. For the lesson two, play more, study less. You cannot learn hacking by just reading books or going from top to bottom of some online courses that you know. You need to master hacking through several experimentation. So play around with it. Like if I do this, what may happen? If I do this, I'm expecting that this will happen, but it may happen that I can leverage or something like that. You know, you need to experiment a lot. So here's the strategy. Allocate 70% of your time in doing and practicing. And the other 30% is for the theory in order for you to add techniques in your arsenal. In here, do not be so focused on getting the root flags, just like the CTFs that you are having. Instead, Focus on experimenting with these targets. What we can do, what we can extract from this, what we can learn from this. What are the specific vulnerabilities that you can still find in here? Not just the intended way, but also the other intended way. Play around with it. As they say, you retain more knowledge, not by reading blogs or by watching YouTube videos, but by doing. But of course, please keep on watching this YouTube video so you can have the three remaining key lessons. Lesson number three, have a system. You did a practical certification. That's good, which is well respected in the industry and it's practical and you studied it and passed the exam. That's good. However, the cert that you just took 
is not really related to what you are doing in your day-to-day tasks in your work. And unfortunately, you also do not have time to practice it anymore after the certification exam because you're thinking, what for? So you end up forgetting all of those things that you took in that practical certification. Maybe not all, but most of it, I guess. If you're not practicing it, it will be gone. These are one of many reasons why a lot of people in the industry have well-respected practical certification, but does not have the capability to do it anymore afterwards because they lack a system. So what is this system? So having a system means creating a consistent effort towards that specific topic. So if I wanted to be good at malware development, then after finishing the certification related to that, I can allot 30 to 60 minutes daily in order to practice it, dig deeper in it, so that uh, whenever time comes that I will be needing it. Like for example, when the time comes that it's needed in work or some development, then probably you'll be much better than the previous self that you have. So in here, consistency creates lasting skills and reduces burnout. So this really helps having a system. Lesson four, build your own lab. If you want to level up your game in hacking, instead of just using some pre-made CTFs or pre-made laboratories from other providers, build your own lab and make it realistic as possible. So this is the greatest lesson, I guess, that I will tell my previous 10 years self if ever that I have the chance, because with this, you can understand a lot more about what you are attacking quickly than anybody else when it comes to exploiting some targets creatively. If you want to know web hacking, then start building a website and put some of the vulnerabilities that is in there that you want to exploit afterwards. And with that kind of knowledge of building your own lab, it separates you from the other hackers who just blindly attack and doesn't know why their attack works. In here, you know why and you know what's happening in the background. So that's why building your own lab is very, very important experience. Lesson number five, choose the right training. So if you are aiming to become a really good hacker technically, then skip the certifications that is focusing on theory, like some of the certifications that I will not tell here. I know you know it. Instead, focus your time in the practical ones because most of the theoretical part can be searched already in the internet on those uh, certifications that you already know. Here, focus more in the practical certifications. Even those trainings, not literally certifications, but it can also be a training without a certification because we've been in a lot of trainings that doesn't have certification, but still, you can still get a lot of things in there. Because after all, the goal here is for us to get practical skills that we will be needing in real life and can be added in our methodology and can help us play more and experiment more with a lot of exploit that we can do with within each situation. Having well-known practical certification, yes, can help you land some job interviews, but strong practical skills and experience can land you a job or even produce more findings that the certifications out there is still not yet teaching. So that's why choosing the right training, not certification, but training is very important. So in conclusion, we already have these five key lessons that we talked about already. And I think there might be more, 
But these five lessons that I just talked about is I think the most important thing that I will tell my previous self when it comes to learning hacking, starting hacking. So if you need more tips like this, then click subscribe in the Prosec YouTube channel. Keep hacking and stay ethical. Goodbye.